Hello again, YouTubers and self-filming hunters. This is Trad Archer, and uh, this is another self-filming tutorial. And this time we're gonna take a look at fluid heads. So um, this, of course, is my new uh, fourth arrow Talon triple arm. And uh, my setup this year is gonna be the uh, Sony AX100 and um, so the current head that, that I've got on here um, I probably shouldn't even showcase this one but uh, this is the Manfrotto 701 HDV and the reason why I say that is because it's actually not manufactured anymore and the only way you can find it is used on eBay and so I really like this one because it is larger than your regular um, fluid heads um, but it is also smaller than the 500 and the 501 which to me is just too big and this was uh, ideal size head in my opinion um, so that's why uh, I'm going to use this one now the only thing about this one is uh, the pan uh, tension is a little bit tight so sometimes when I go to turn it uh, it will actually turn the camera arm rather than the pan, which is not too bad. You know, it, it's it, um, it'll be just fine. I, that's something I can deal with. Uh, it is what they call a double-sided fluid head, so it has um, two sides. Um, its tension is uh, by knob on the side. You can tighten it up. The thing about this particular one, as you can see that it will return automatically. And the only thing I have to worry about is I'll tighten it up a little bit. That way when I have it pointed down at the tree stand, it doesn't automatically want to correct itself. So that keeps the camera from tilting forward and backwards. Now on a uh, Sony, um, most of their um, On a Sony, most of their um, um, connections for the quick release plate is forward on the camera, which means it's rear heavy. So that's the one thing you have to be careful of when you choose. And so that's why I'm gonna run this one this far forward so it's balanced fairly well. It won't tilt forward tilt backwards but in this particular head it's not going to do that anyway so let me go ahead and tighten the pan up and we'll take this one off and uh, switch to the next head I want to take a look at I think I paid maybe $75 shipped for this um, so whenever you see one on eBay um, maybe See about getting it if you're running a heavy camera. Now, this is my next uh, fluid head. I ran this one for a very long time and I still really enjoy this one. It's the Manfrotto 700 RC2. You can see it is a single sided fluid head, but this is a really, really nice head. But let me point out some of the drawbacks. Uh, this would be ideal. Uh, it's fairly lightweight, uh, it's all cast. Um, it could be used uh, on a Lone Wolf Custom Gear uh, pocket arm, but the different, the one thing about it is it's got a fairly large base to be running on uh, that pocket arm. However, it is still a very nice head, uh, but I'll tell you a couple of the drawbacks for this particular head. Um, if you're running a DSLR, uh, this is probably not the head for you because this particular knob right here is going to interfere with the body of your DSLR or your DSLM. Uh, I have replaced this screw before with a longer GoPro screw, um, but uh, that's up to you because uh, on this particular, it's used the RC2 plate and that's it right there. It's not really adjust adjustable. So uh, the, um, the tension for tilt is not a brake. It is actually a tensioner on the side 
to add tension to uh, the arm. Uh, and like I said, uh, I really like this one. The only problem is my uh, AX100 is gonna hang off the back. So I have to add more tension to it to keep it from tilting backwards. And uh, I don't like that. Um, so uh, I actually have two of these. I don't know if, uh, if I'm gonna keep them. I might put uh, one of them up for sale. Uh, it has a very long arm. Of course, this uh, grip will come off if you're gonna cut, cut the back end off and move the grip up forward. I've seen guys doing, those, doing that before. So let's go ahead and swap this one out for the next arm. Now this particular arm is one of my first arms. Uh, and the reason I liked it is because when I got a fairly inexpensive uh, um, tripod in a trade, this particular arm was uh, head was on it. So this is a Velbon PH, PH368. Now you can see it is a double-sided it and also has all this, uh, this is how its mechanism works. It has a tensioner for tilt and a tensioner for pan. It also has a brake for both. Uh, the arm is one of the things I don't particularly like about it because it, uh, while it can be turned, I wish this was actually straight. Um, but it's, it's the, I use this head for a while and it is a very, very nice head. Uh, it does have fluid movement. You can always change the tension on it. It's a little larger than what uh, I like but uh, this head can be had for uh, probably under $25 used on eBay. So it's a pretty good, uh, and it's all composite. So it's probably the lightest head, one of the lightest heads I got out here. So and the next head is another Manfrotto. Um, this is the Be Free Live. And the great thing about it is it has a very small base, so those of you guys that are running a pocket arm, this is a really good head uh, to be used on those pocket arms because the uh, um, the base is so small. And so it does have a leveler uh, on it, so uh, you can uh, help level your arm out a little bit more by using the level. Now. What's great about this one is it has a knob here that will not interfere with DSLR, DSLM bodies. Also, this particular plate is adjustable and can run um, so if I'm running my AX100, I can set it anywhere to balance along this if I need to. So, um, adjustable arm. It's not really long, but it can be shortened if you need to by removing the grip, cutting it off and moving it forward. But uh, I don't feel like that's really necessary. So it's got really great fluid motion. Would uh, I'm not so sure I'm gonna like this for my larger camera, um, but would be great for the, the, uh, the smaller cameras. The only thing I don't like about this is it uses a uh, tilt brake, not a tilt tensioner and so you turn this knob to tighten up on the tilt and it does tighten up but uh, I've had this head apart and the it is a brake not a tensioner so that brake actually the more you use it like that it actually rubs the paint off uh, it's kind of like a disc brake in a car uh, it rubs the paint off uh, the uh, the barrel inside here and eventually you'll end up with spots that will catch inside there. This one is not doing that, so I might make some use. This was a used head I got off of eBay, but it uh, uh, I don't particularly like the tilt brake, um, but this would be ideal for your smaller cameras. Uh, it would be great on the Lone Wolf Custom Gear Pocket Arm and maybe the reach, uh, out on a limb reach. So, all right, let's switch to another arm, which um, and I'm gonna show you the difference between these two. Um, the one on the right is a Benro S2C. You can see that it is uh, a little shorter 
Let's see if I can somehow compare these. It's not as tall. Um, and the base is also similarly sized, so it will be great on the Lone Wolf Custom Gear Pocket Arm or the uh, Out on a Limb Reach Arm. So, um, now the distinctive difference between this S2C uh, arm and the um, Manfrotto Be Free Live is, you can see this one has a tensioner, not a uh, tilt brake. So you can actually set the tension here. Now, this is another one that I would expect to use with lighter cameras because it, uh, I currently have my GZ, JJC remote on here and a very long handle. So it wants to tilt backwards. So I would have to have, but the good thing about it is this plate can be moved forward and tightened up. So if you have a camera that has a, a forward mounted uh, uh, release plate hole, then you could mount it forward um, and get the balance that you'll need. I've also seen people remove this grip and shorten this arm up. Uh, it doesn't need to be that long uh, for most people. So, and this is the Benro S2C. And lastly, this is a head that I picked up on uh, a trade for an arm. Um, and it's quite different than these other heads. Um, I'm not sure exactly how you want to describe this. Uh, it does have a fluid movement. This is the Andoer, A-N-D-O-E-R, Q08. And they also make a Q08S. Uh, I've changed this around a little bit if you've got one. Uh, I didn't feel like I would need this plate to tilt uh, 90 degrees, so I replaced this with a bolt. Uh, it has an Arca Swiss plate on it, so it comes straight out rather than slide in. Um, it has a fairly wide base on it, so I'm not sure if this would be ideal for use on the uh, um, Pocket Wolf uh, Lone, Wolf, Lone Wolf Gear Custom Gear Pocket Arm or the OAL, OOAL Reach or not. Uh, but what's distinctive about this one is it's got really nice fluid movement, but it's more like a two-way fluid head, I mean a two-way friction head rather than a fluid head, but it is fluid. I can feel the fluid movement in there. So if you were running a camera without a remote control, then this would be a nice head because it has uh, such a great uh, mo smooth movement. And if you get it to the where you need it to be on tilt, just give it a little twist and it stays locked. When you want to move it again, give it a slight twist and you can change the tilt again, a slight twist and lock it. So that's what I like about it. I wish that I could get this handle extended a little bit and then I might start running this particular head with a remote control. So there you have it. One, two, three, four, five uh, heads that could be used for uh, self-filming in one video.